What if I told you that you could run your NTN automations 24-7 without paying a single penny for an entire year? And no, I'm not talking about some scratchy around or a too good to be through deal. Hi, I'm Stacy, and I was tired of hosting platforms that put my workflows to sleep, had random downtime, and kept pushing those upgrade to premium pop-ups. Sound familiar? Then I discovered something that completely changed the game. Most people are using middleman platforms that are just expensive wrappers around the same technology I'm about to show you. It's like paying premium for bottled water when you have a perfectly good tap at home. By the end of this video, you will have your own personal server running 24-7, completely free, never sleeping, with zero limitations. So if you are tired of limitation, tired of workarounds, and ready to finally host your automation the right way, stick around. Because what I'm about to show you will save you not just money, but months of headache. Ready? Let's dive in. First thing first, let's start talking about AWS EC2. So what is AWS EC2? EC2 stands for Elastic Compute Cloud. Think of it as a virtual computer in the cloud that you can use to run any application you want. So let's open it. So it's here, Amazon EC2. And here is the best part of it. With AWS Free Tire, you get 750 hours per month for 12 months. And if you do the math, that's enough to keep a server running 24-7 every single day for a whole year. Perfect for our N10 workflows. So, now let's set it up together. So first we need to log in in our account. So go ahead and log in in your account, your AWS account. After doing the login, you will be in this page, this home page. So you go here in the search bar and write AC2. It will come first and you will click on it. Okay. Now we are we come here and you will click on launch instance. Let's click on it. Now we need to give a name to our, our instance. So let me give it NTN Stacy Server. Okay. So now we need to choose our operating system. So we're gonna use Ubuntu. Uh, it, because it's also eligible for the free tire eligible see we, we select ubuntu okay so the other things can remain like they are by default now we need a key pair we need to create a new key pair so you might be wondering what is a key pair so think of this like our private key to unlock the server so you need to create one download it and keep it safe okay let's create it so i will give a name like let me say like stacy secret key okay stacy secret key we'll go like this and these other will stay like there and create key pair it here so this is my secret key after finishing to create the key pair in the local pc so now we just have to finally click on launch instance and as you see now it's being created that's it now you have your own cloud server running for free so now let's go and see our server so let's go and click at ec2 okay now we will look where it is running instance instance running here we click on it and this is our server right now so we need to connect to it and we can do it uh, using the normal way like the normal terminal but it's re i recommend to use a tool called tabby it make everything easier so let's go and download tabby okay for windows so this is Tabby. So depending of your operating system, you will download Tabby. So let me look for me. It's Windows. So I will download this one. Okay. Okay, now it's installing. Let's wait for it. 
uh, as you can see now it's finished to download so let's go and click on it uh, we let install so let's click next next install okay So now it's finished then we click on run tab it we run it right now okay and now as you can see this is our tab so the terminal tab so now we need to connect tab to our, our server in OS. so we're gonna here in, we're gonna go in parameter and profiles and connections and we're gonna add a new ssh profile and new profile and uh, let me click on ssh and we are going to click on ssh connection so and now we're gonna give it a name then we do anything uh, automation auto now we need to put our public uh, ip address here we're gonna get it from the ios so here yeah, as we can see we click on the instance this is the running instance we click on it so now we see the public uh, address ip address we copy it and we paste it here and here we change the username to ubuntu by default it's ubuntu and here for the private key we're gonna need to add the private key we downloaded it before earlier so let me add it so meet in desktop stacy this one okay now i will click on save and this one the one we just finished and let me connect it and see how it's gonna work and now we can see that you are inside your cloud server okay before now we're installing anything we need to install docker uh, because we're gonna need docker to deploy our anything so i'm gonna run this command to to deploy it and i'll just run it okay now we can see that our docker is installed so now we need to start our docker so we know we do sudo service docker start okay now we start it So now we're gonna deploy anything uh, with Docker. So I'm gonna do it. So firstly, go in on Google and visit the the G the anything GitHub. Let the anything GitHub, and we will click on it. Yeah, okay. And this GitHub repository, we can see like there are many important information useful. So for us, we're gonna see like how it's explain how to deploy with Docker anything. So as you can see here, it's deploy with Docker. So now first of all we're gonna copy east this one. Let's copy it and go back here. We will paste here and we will launch it. Ah oh, sorry, we need to do sudo first, like to add super user and let's paste it now. Okay, now it's created. Okay, now what are we going to do next? We wanna go back and take this one also and copy. We need also to do a couple of change with the sudo here and we paste it. Okay. Yes, let me paste it. So here we have to do also another change, something like I need to add the, let me show you. I need to add the anything secure cookie. Okay, so as I said here, I'm going to add the environment variable and I will do that E and I will paste this one. Sorry and i uh, will set it to false so it will help us to be able to disable secure cookies and we will be able to use for http addresses now uh, let me check if there is something else i have to do yes i have to change this one to d okay i think now that's it let's run it and see what's gonna happen As you can see now it's downloading it now right now
And now as you can see, like you can see that our N10 is deployed in Docker successfully. So now we're gonna have to make the endpoint accessible from iOS. So remember this port, we did 5678. So we're gonna back going back to our iOS. And uh, we go here, we go here, click on security. And we click in security group. And we edit inbound rules. And we add a rule. It will be custom TCP. And the port size is the one we set for uh, NA10, 5678. And here we do 00. zero and we save rules. Okay. After finishing it. Let me close these ones. We can now go back to the dashboard. See again the running instance and click on it. I'm gonna take the public address and uh, click on it and we will add the endpoint, the port 5678 and click on enter. And as you can see now, we have our N10 running for on uh, our OS uh, deployed in docker so this was the video for today so we can even uh, open an account uh, okay let me just i'll even delete the account okay so i'll do it next and i will get started uh, and now as you can see you can see now we have our n10 uh, fully deployed on our os and that's it you have just deployed the n10 on ios using docker completely for free for 12 months with no sleeping server or no hacks if you found this tutorial helpful please give a like don't forget to subscribe for more automation n10 and ai tutorials also, also drop a comment below let me know what workflow you are planning to automate first with your new free server. I would love to hear your ideas. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.